Good afternoon, Pats fans, and welcome inside the Brand Center as the Regina Pats gear up for this Trans-Canada Clash battle against the Moose Jaw Warriors. My name is Dante DeCarry, and he's Drew Posty, and the Pats are playing some pretty good hockey here on home ice. 17 victories on home ice now as they picked up a 5-2 win over the visiting Prince Albert Raiders inside the Brand Center on Friday night. Goals from five different players in that hockey game and a 32 save performance from Kelton Pine. Yeah, and that's uh, 11 goals in the Pats' last two home games for Regina. So you're right, they've been playing some good hockey at home. They're five games over 500 at home, and uh, obviously Moose Jaw is a tough test, but uh, hey, they're on the back half of, of a 3-3, three and three, so maybe the Pats can catch a bit of a tired hockey club. Yeah, and you sp speaking of that five games over 500 on home ice this season, the Regina Pats have scored 119 goals here on home ice this year. That's a plus-three goal differential inside the Brand Center. The Pats were back home on Friday for the first time since February the 19th. That was a 6-0 win on Family Day, followed by a 5-2 win on Friday. They look to build off that heading into today's game against the Moose Jaw Warriors. But in particular, Drew, what did you like most about the Pats' performance? Obviously, Tanner Howell picks up a goal and an assist. Anthony Wilson had a goal and an assist as well. Well, they got goals from five different players. Uh, there was a couple multi-point games, but uh, five different goal scorers. That's always a really good positive thing to see because uh, this is a team that needs goal scoring up and down the lineup, and they got that Friday night. And uh, Prince Albert's a physical team, and the Regina Pats really brought the physical play as well. They're going to need to do that against the rival Moose Jaw Warriors today. Yeah, and the Moose Jaw Warriors are one of the top teams in the Western Hockey League. You mentioned it. They are playing the back half of a 3-3, three and three, but this is a team that has so much firepower up front with the likes of Braden Jagger and Jagger Furcus, and now Matthew Savoy has joined the mix, and Denton Matejchuk, and even Jackson Unger is a steady goaltender in net for them. So the Pats will have, I guess, things a little bit difficult here today. We'll see if they can pick up the two points against the rival Moose Jaw Warrior. If you haven't heard already, today's game is presented to you by Bennett Dunlop Ford, as the first 500 fans here on St. Patrick's Day will receive a free lunchbox, courtesy of Bennett Dunlop Ford, and I kind of really like those lunch bags so make sure to get to the Brand Center early and grab one of those lunch bags as you come through the Brand Center doors. Those doors open at 3 o'clock with puck truck set for 4 p.m. against the Moose Jaw Warriors. We'll see you today.